we filmed a live show, 100% through from start to finish. We're going to try it again this year. There we are. Lake Ponset, crappies, pre-spawn. Jeff is with you. We're ready. Are we loaded? Howdy, Vern. We're loaded up, ready to go. And what's that you always say about when those lilacs bloom, Vern? Crappie. Yeah, it's a great time of the year for those crappies to start biting, Jeff and Vern. Water temp is about 60 degrees. They've just moved up. Um, you know, typically right now what I'm finding are just the males. They make the nest first. Sure. Let's and, back up, Michael. Huh? Let's back up. Sure. We, uh, we're jumping right into this. So almost one year ago today, we wanted to set up a video shoot where we put all these cameras up. Mm -hmm. We wanted to run it live. We are back, round two, round in the two. AmFam Lund boat, Michael Tejan boat. You had some new ideas, some new tactics, and some things that you want to try today and show everybody that's behind right. that camera on our YouTube, our social media, and beyond uh, TV stations. What do you got for us? Well, uh, I tell you what, a tried and true is always fun, folks. I mean, using the slip bobber with a small Aberdeen hook, I like using Aberdeens because you can get it out of the fish's mouth a little easier. Um, a slip bobber, and then of course your, your feather jig tipped with a minnow. You got an opportunity at small mouse and crappies. But last year I tried something new and it was a lot of fun. And actually a lot of times crappies, Jeff, they got those paper mouths and you can rip out of them. I started using these little 64th ounce plastics. Now this is an impulse uh, little plastic minnow by Northland Tackle. And what I do, surely I can't cast this little 64th ounce on my rod, but if I hook a spring bobber to it. You add a little weight. The weight of the spring bobber throws it out there and I call it bobber jigging because the lure is so light, the bobber's gonna sit like this and I'm gonna tug it back to the boat. I'm covering more water and when that fish inhales that little plastic, it stands straight up. Very nice. It's a strike indicator. And it's a really, really fun and unique way to catch fish. It allows you on those light bite days to use very small lures and cast it a great distance. So really excited to show the folks it worked really well on one lake. I hope it works on this one, Jeff. I think it will. <laughs> My fingers are crossed. We're burning daylight. Uh, it is gorgeous. And we picked today versus mm -hmm. Monday. We rearranged our schedule to be here. Mike, what do you always say? Well, get me on the water. Get me on the water. <laughs> you got it. I've shut off my big outboard motor and one really really important thing when you're fishing shallow fish is before you get to that location where you want to fish shut everything down get everything ready to go your bait your rods and then you come in on stealth with your electric motor I'll show you real quickly what I told you at the open of the show is I've got this very small little 64 ounce plastic right how in the world would I cast this plastic so I actually just put a slip bob or a spring bobber on it and what I want to do I'm going to be fishing about seven foot of water I'm going to make sure this uh, is about a foot off the bottom now just watch how far I can cast this little jig <laughs> I threw it about 20 25 feet and now what I can do is actually jig that bobber back to the boat. I'm covering a lot of water. 
So when a fish inhales that little bait, my bobber's gonna stand straight up. Now we're not catching one here because I'm not at my fishing location. I just wanted to give you an idea how to fish a very, very, very small jig and have a lot of fun doing it. Try it out sometime. You're gonna watch me catching fish on this baby here in a little bit. in stealth mode with the electric coming up onto our fishing grounds. And again, it's super, super important to do that because you don't want to blow these fish out. Right now what we're doing is we're coming over a big rock pile and we're going to try to catch some crappies here today, folks, and have some fun. Water clarity oh, man. is one thing that we're going to talk about today. And uh, what I want to do just first and foremost is just use this little plastic and we're just going to throw it out and we're going to see if there's any crappies home. And again, I mean, kind of the key fishing this way is the ability to fish a very, very small plastic with a bobber. And when a fish takes it, obviously that bobber is going to be a tattletail. Stick straight up. And again, just moving, fan cast and moving around. That's all we're doing here. A little bit of a slow start. We'll get it figured out. I think we will. Got it. Oh! <laughs> Got bit. That's a good sign. Maybe one jig today. Remember, what was that last year? Like seven, eight casts in a row? Yeah. Pitching something and actually feeling what's happening down there is what I think is the most fun. Uh, I'd agree with you, Jeff. That jig bite, yeah. there's really no better way. You got a intimate connection with the fish, especially that JT you're using. You really can feel a sensitive rod. Pretty sensitive critical. rod with good line. There's one. There you First go. First cast with the jig. And it is what we're looking for. All right. Let's look at how clear this water is. Fish change moods all the time. And you know, they're not being real productive on our bobbers. But Jeff, if you'd hand me the net, this is a beautiful old crappie. Heck, I'll try to flip a net. Oh, oh that's a baddie. Holy so cow. what we got here, again, is we're fishing that little firefly jig. First cast, fish. <laughs> That's a good look. That and just man. look at how nice the fillets are. Just for argument's sake, Michael, hang on to that fish for a second. You bet. I saw a measuring utensil. Right there on the side. So let's show everybody the quality of these fish. Because we're looking at about a 13 inch fish, 12 and a half if you pinch 12 that 12 and tail. a half, yep. That's that nothing is wrong with it. a solid crappie. Now this is yeah. a male? This, uh, this here is a male. You know, the darker fish with the real dark cheek patches, the females have a silver look to them. Sure. Plus, right. they're really fat with eggs. But we're going to keep this one. Look at the fillets we can get out that with the uh, skins in. Yes. All right. That's one. Ain't nothing else to do, do. Keep that attitude. Red carpet and go. Hey, hey. Boom box bumping old school. Playing by your own rules. Ready to roll. There we are, fish on. Fish on. On the jig. This is a good one too. Uh oh. I'll get that net, Jeffrey. It's fun catching, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> you got another nice one on for you, and I'm betting a crappie. Yeah, there's nothing. Oh. Look at it. Beautiful fish. Oh, yeah. Wow. Ooh, a little rocket. Here she comes. Oh, that's a beautiful. Oh! <laughs> now, that was, you know what? That's a net job. That is that is what you call the perfect American family insurance agent. He was there for me. Made the save. He made the save. <laughs> that fish came off the hook and you. Beautiful fish, yeah. Netted it with a slam dunk. Look at that fish. So another, that's gonna be a cookie cutter male right off the back of the boat this time. Get this one in the live well. Mike, what's our target number for the day? You know, we're always doing a uh, pitch and conversation, or conservation, yeah. if I can talk. I'm a little excited right now. <laughs> well, so, Jeff. 10 uh, fish a piece. You know, here's the deal. The limit's 15. That doesn't mean you keep 15. Um, for those of you that do out there, that's okay. 
but the way we roll here in wild dakota we like conserving our resources so if we're on a big school of fish here there's no need for us to keep 15 a piece so jeff let's make our number eight eight, eight. a piece eight a piece eight a piece that's 16 fillets each for our families that's what i'm eating tonight by the way well I, you'll be along with fish. some asparagus that i find on the way home fresh fish <laughs> awesome Boy, that feels good hooking into oh, the big does. suckers. Oh, it does. That's yeah, a good she one. Popped, she popped right out when... <laughs> got bit, what, four times? And caught two, so six bites. We had four bites before we got a fish in the boat. Right. Yep. So six bites, two fish. And as long as the action stays about that good, I'm okay with that ratio. It means that we just get a fish a little longer. Yeah. Here's another one. Set the hook. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeff. He sets the hook. I think Jeff's got the, got the spot behind him. That's good. Well, and there's fish right under us. Take a look at the graph there. That feels a little better. Uh, you know what? There's no screwing around on this one. Oh, look, the at way, look at that crap. The way that uh, last one, there we oh, are. Oh, look at that beautiful. That's, that's a 13 and a half. That's 13. a bigger fish, isn't it? Wow, Jeff. All right. Ah, I can't. All right. Boy, is that a beauty. That. Oh, 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 oh. I'm try and keep that hook out of my finger. Here, Jeff, here's a hook out if you'd like. I got it right here. Okay. I just have Plus, to. you know, we want to think about colors too, Jeff. It's colors show up different with water clarity. And I've got a pink and white and I cast 10 times and don't hook up. And you hook up every time with, with a chartreuse glow. White and, yep. Guess what's gonna happen? We're gonna switch, huh? I'm gonna put it. One more time, grab that. Uh, this wow. one looks a little bigger. Now uh, I'm second guessing. <laughs> That's right. a 13, almost 14 inches. Yeah, 13 and a half inch fish. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, baby. Another one. Another one up here. I got a bobber fish going, Jeffrey. Yeah, that bobber. Floating there, you can even see the fish right down here. The minnow's gonna get to that fish. I'm gonna watch that fish bite. All right, you better hurry up. He just, he just ate it. There he is, right there. Yeah, I saw it. I saw that one. <laughs> and this is a smallmouth bass. Oh, do they pull? Darn, trade me cameras. Oh, it is a So that was kind of fun, actually, with this fish. Missed him. Saw him following the minnow. Oh, small mouth bass. Whoa, 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 whoa. Burn's got a fish. Come on. Burn, catch that one. Oh. Nope. No, nope. he had him. He was there. We'll let it right back down, just like I did. Look at this fish come. Look at that crappie. That's a smallmouth. No, oh, that's a big crappie. Oh, look at that big crappie. It, aren't they beautiful? Look at the size of that crappie. Jeff's going to net it. <laughs> Just absolutely beautiful. And again, you know, we've been fishing here about 10 minutes catching these beautiful crappies here in South Dakota. And uh, again, we're fishing traditional methods. We're fishing with slip bobbers and letting them just kind of blow across. And then we're throwing little feather jigs out. And with these feather jigs, we're just kind of dragging along the bottom and maybe popping it up a little bit. And we're picking up these beautiful eaters. Again, I said, tomorrow is my dad's 85th birthday. And one of his favorite fish to eat growing up was a crappie. Well, dad, these are for you, this Wild Dakota show. It's for you from me. Happy birthday, Dad. And I'm gonna chase And I'm gonna chase
one could be a little better. Or I got a smallie. Yeah, I think I got a smallie. Hey, crap. If this is a grappy, this is a giant. Yeah. It is. Grappy. That's a big one. That's a big That's a big grappy. That is a good one. Ooh, look at that one. <laughs> yeah, what do you think, is. Jeff? I think mine had one extra protein shake. Yeah, I think yours beat mine. <laughs> well, Jeff, we're out of time. We are. Get out of here. Get out of my spot. <laughs> go fish up there. Go cast that way. I don't like you. Captain's boat. You know what? <laughs> what was that other American go. family agent's name? <laughs> I'm the only one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, GB, it doesn't get much better than that, does it? Oh, gosh. <laughs> you know, it's 1030, and we've got our, our quota in the live well. Yep, yep. So, so with all these storms, how did that affect you in the last couple of weeks? Well, you know, it really spoke loud to me about what my job and what my profession really is all about. And I tell you what, you got any questions, you give my office a call. We're here to help you. You know, every time I've had a problem, You've been there thank and you, took buddy. all those headaches away from me. So thank you. Hey, we're out of time. But look at these fish. Two years in a row, monster crappies, Lake Ponset, and we're rocking it. As always, fish play hard. hard. Well, let's play hard, play safe, have a successful season. We'll see you next time right here in Wild Dakota where we're born free. We live wild. Proud and to I'm be American. Proud to be American.